Welcome back. It's time for another Arts and Crafts segment with Caitlin Eddington. And this latest project is actually inspired by an exhibit at the Carnegie Museum of Art. Ooh. Wow, you're taking this up a level. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Listen, I love the Carnegie Museum of Art, but of course, we also have the Museum of Natural History. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about you guys, but one of my favorite exhibits is the gems and minerals. Oh, have you ever yes. seen? They're so We love beautiful. a sparkle. Mm -hmm. Yes, and typically when I come, I love to do something seasonal, but because it's just doing nothing but rain in April. We're gonna skip it, and we're gonna do something that you know my my I know my own kids love to like you know find different rocks and sparkly rocks. So this is something you know we can go they can go outside and dig in rocks, then we can come in and do a little craft. I love yeah, that I love idea. Yeah. And I used to collect these rocks as oh, a kid. Yes, yeah, I, I have like a teeny what, one over there. I never knew what they were uh, called. Yeah, yeah here we go. Called geodes, mm -hmm. and they're the quintessential. You know they look kind of rough on the outside, and then. You can actually get kits where you like smash them open. The kids can oh, do it, and then it's like the geodes inside. The prize on the inside. Yeah, I love to have those available when I'm teaching it with the students. Yeah, too, yeah. they can get a little aggression out <laughs> in art class. All love right. It. So Let's what see. are we? What are we doing today? Okay, so we are doing a watercolor geode, and we have a basic set of watercolors here, and we're going to do a couple different techniques. So we're going to do a wet on wet technique, okay. which is when we wet the paper first, and then we add wet paint to it, and your paint will kind of blend, just you know, giving you the the a prefacing it okay, so you're not like go. what's happening um but that's what we want and then we're going to be using a salt resist and that's what's going to help us give those little crystal looks that you would see like oh, in a geo the sparkle yeah. okay so i we am can bob do it ross together. today <laughs> let's go so we'll Love do this it. all together so we're going to take our brush and we're going to go ahead and get dip it in the water mm -hmm. and we're just going to go ahead i kind of pre pre drew like a little egg um kind of like a blob shape oh we're gonna thank get you for doing that yeah, in so advance easy. for us but we're just going to get she's working with we're going to get the whole thing nice and wet so feel free oh, to the like whole thing. yeah okay. really get enough water on there so I'm you kind of almost see it like shining a not little the bit. whole paper but just the just that little oval that okay I did. perfect Excellent. okay so now I'm gonna give you a super quick um, color theory lesson so we're going to be choosing three analogous colors and all that means is it's a grouping of three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel okay so like red orange yellow green blue violet um, and can kind of start with whatever ones you want if you need direction maybe do blue green and yellow okay. or Mike if you want to do like green. pinks and purples oh sorry whatever Already you want to do to the no green. you're good I'm gonna do like purples and pinks so go ahead and really swirl around your brush okay in that color and kind of swirl around a few times you getting in there Cal? Oh, yeah. get, in. <laughs> get in there and we want a good amount of paint on our brush so we're gonna start on the outside edge so watch this I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of glide my brush around the outside <gasps> edge of Are you our geode to stay in the line, yeah, or? And, kinda, and you can actually, Mikey, just kind of use the tip of the brush here. Uh -oh. So, the, no, you're fine. <laughs> Either way, we're just going to go ahead and kind of do a little circle around the edge here, and you'll notice it might be spreading. Then, with that same color, let's kind of skip some space, and we'll go ahead and put another ring in the middle. Mm -hmm. So you'll start to see the paint is spreading or moving, and we'll That's go ahead cool. and choose another color. This so, looks like the bagel I ate yeah. earlier. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and also it could be Easter eggs. Really Oh, whatever yeah, you kind of we'll want go with that. So we're going to wash our brush off and get another color that's, again, similar on the color wheel, but honestly, y'all, you can do whatever color mm -hmm. you want. Hey. Really make sure you're picking up enough paint. So swirl it a few times, and we're just going to kind of fill in some areas. We're going to leave the center white because that is going to be where our sparkly kind of crystals are gonna be oh my god and I love you can, god. yeah you can let them kind of like mix and play a little yeah. i really love how it can be loose i we know just and i love Lucy. the things that you show us because it's <laughs> i mean it's good for kids but adults can our manage therapy too. is us. for everyone okay while it's wet you have a little bit of salt here so go ahead and take a pinch of salt mm -hmm. and we're just going to sprinkle it right in the middle just a pinch, yeah right? just a pinch i like uh -oh. to use coarser like kind of rock salt um, and if it's not moving, honestly, add a little more water to it. We want it to be nice and wet. Now, it doesn't look like much right now. It just looks like a, a bundle here, but right. we have to let it dry. And when it dries, then, so now I added some extra glitter, but wow. you'll see this really beautiful texture in the middle. And then once it dries, I like to have my students do a little ring of glue around the edge, mm -hmm. and we'll do some glitter so or beautiful. like glitter Sharpie. That's so pretty. And you can cut you can them out and then add patterns it. or frame. Yeah, you can frame it when you're done. Um, but it's so relaxing, and when you actually combine it with 
the patterns, um, this type of pattern is called zentangling. Mm -hmm. So it's basically we're just drawing a blob and you're doing repetitive lines. And I promise it is so meditative to oh just my God, do yeah. the same pattern over and over. And then you have this gorgeous piece of art that you and your children Look will be that. very proud Take of. Take that home with this, you, I, I, Do you like how I took it from her? Like, I, this is my completed work. As Listen, always, thank you for this. Yeah, thank you so much. Really awesome. The only arts and crafts I can do are led by Caitlin. That's right. <laughs> if you're interested in signing up for any of the spring workshops, Offer Ed by Art with Miss E or purchasing one of the lessons. We will have a link on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh.